What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of the new musical movie, Cinderella. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. I actually enjoyed this movie, but I feel like I'm the only non Camila Cabello fan who's willing to admit that. The rest of the folks who will storm Amazon Prime Video and give this movie its massive success are of course Camila Cabello's huge fan base. Granted, musical movies are pretty saturated and Disney generally dominates the fairy tale market. And it's tough to dethrone this year's cream of the crop in the heights. But I just think that Cinderella is wonderful and has a lot to offer. And its renditions of today's popular pop songs are catchy. Plus, Camila gives a stunning and delightful performance with Billy Porter memorably stealing the scenes as the god fairy. Now, parts of this film are somewhat clunky, and James Gordon's comic relief Mice Team unfortunately misses the mark. And the film's feminism themes, though well-intentioned, are also a bit forced. But I still managed to lose myself in its lavish, festive, joyous choreographies. Written and directed by Kay Cannon, Cinderella is a modern musical with a bold take on the story that you grew up with. Our ambitious heroine has big dreams, and with the help of her fab G, she perseveres to make them come true. Cinderella has an all-star cast, including Camila Cabello, Idina Menzel, Minnie Driver, Nicholas Galitzin, Billy Porter, and Pierce Brosnan. If the name Kay Cannon sounds familiar to you, it's because for years, she was credited as the screenwriter of those pitch-perfect movie adaptations, so anything musical-related is nothing new to her. Cinderella is only Kay's second directorial film so far after 2018's Blockers. Some filmmakers would immediately find their footing this early on, but it's clear that Kay Cannon is still trying to find her form. In terms of the staging and the blocking and the pacing and maintaining the tone, but I don't want to completely dismiss Kay because this is after all her script, this is her baby, so if anyone can visualize this whole thing, it's Kay Cannon. Obviously, there's a push to make singer Camila Cabello to potentially become Hollywood's next big star. Best wishes to her, and for her film debut, Cinderella is a pretty good start and a pretty good indicator that her acting career may have a bright future ahead of her, especially in the romantic comedy genre. As the title character of this film, Camila is radiant, and she's surrounded by seasoned actors who seem to be having the time of their lives on the set. Kay Cannon's agenda is pretty upfront about it, with regards to this new reimagining. For anybody who are used to the white knight prince charming sweeping the princess off her feet, the idea of the princess being independent and trying to be an entrepreneur might be too drastic of a change for them. But I say, why the hell not? There can be more than one way to approach this classic character, right? So if you don't like this one, there's always that Disney version that you can always safely fall back on every time. In conclusion, this brand new Cinderella is not everybody's cup of tea, but I for one find it utterly magical.